welcome to the final days here at the Superkite Brazil 2020. Sun is starting to come out, we see the clouds are burning off, which is only good news. It means that the wind is definitely going to be better than the conditions we had yesterday. Going to be starting off with the semi-finals of the ladies and then moving over to the semi-final of the men. Let's go down to the water and see what action they have for us. So semi-finals of the ladies on the water. It is really impressive to see how women's kiteboarding is evolving so much and these girls are really pushing the envelope. We saw multiple super stylish moves and really quality over quantity where they are pushing and tweaking and getting some of the simpler moves but with huge amount of style. Then we moved over to the semi-final of the men where all of the riders are pushing the level. It doesn't matter if it's the semi-final or the final, we are seeing some of the best moves in kiting to date. Everything is really about attention to detail, is to making, maximizing every single part of the maneuver to show their individual style and the flair of each rider. So it's time for the grand finale of the ladies. In fourth position, coming out of Spain, we had Claudia Leon, has done one of the best events she's had yet. Consistency and really putting on a lot of maneuvers out there, gaining that fourth position. In third position, we have Pepper Van Eersel from the Netherlands. She had a couple of very big moves and she's really upped her gain on height and power during the off season. In second position, we had Rita Arnos, who is Miss Consistency. She landed pretty much every single move during this contest, and you can really see the workout outside of the water paying off as she has more style and more power than before. There can only be one, our champion for the Superkite Brazil 2020 from Brazil, Micaeli Sol. She is in a world of her own in this final. She was getting multiple KGBs hitting grabs that we haven't seen in women's kiteboarding up to date and really just pushing the level. It is going to be one hell of a season next year. Hey guys, it's Mika. I am 14 years old and I just won the Ijiwajiru Championship here in Brazil and I'm super stoked. The level of the girls has gone up so much and I just couldn't be happier at this moment. I've been training all year for this and this was the only competition of the year so it was really, really important. Even if it doesn't hold a world title, it still means that you won a competition in the only competition of the year. So yeah, super stoked on that and can't wait to see what next year holds. So now it's time for the men. What a grand final we had here in Ila de Wajiro. In fourth position, we've got to say a big congratulations to Juan Rodriguez from Colombia. He has put in the work in the off season. He's more powerful, more dynamic, and more stylish than ever fourth position in this competition. In third position, we had one of the local Brazilians, Manuel Suarez. Multiple handle pass rotation. This guy spins so fast and well deserved here to be on the podium in third. In second position, we have Eric Anderson from Brazil. Every single event when we come to Brazil, this guy is deadly. And when he's smiling, he is dangerous. We've seen some very technical maneuvers out there above the nines, heart attack sevens, rotation style. What an event for this man. But again, there can only be one champion. And this year, that guy is Maxime Chablot. He was putting on a repertoire of moves with grabs. He's adding the style, adding the difficulty, and closing off the event with a perfect 10.0 for a huge Move 7. I'm super happy with the win here in Brazil. I mean, feels unreal. My first event uh, win. And uh, yeah, I cannot describe the world. Um, to be honest, I want to give a huge shout out to Liam, uh, not only because of his injury, also. I uh, remember when I was a small kid, he, well, small kid, a few years ago, he 
He told me, Maxime, you're gonna be world champion 2020, and uh, now it's not a world title, but I mean, only event of the year, finishing first almost feels like the same, and yeah, I'm over the moon and super stoked, and Liam, I really hope we're gonna be able to have a sick battle in the next event, yeah.